Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. If I know what you should be saying is, hey Zenya, thanks for coming back to YouTube because where have I actually been? Sorry, let me just get my tea. Ha ha ha. Actually, really good. <laughs> how am i gonna return to youtube i need to return with a bang i need to return doing something cool and like i love my vlogs i want to go back to that but i also want to make videos talking and i also just want to have a cup of tea and i thought how can i do that but i can pretty much merge vlogging tea and talking all together just for you so welcome to my new style of videos let's talk about life talk about where i'm at and let's use this as free therapy because I need help. I've been in a state of existentialism. Oh, that kind of scared me. I have been in a state of existentialism and I need to voice my thoughts so that I can become a sane human being. So first of all, let's define what an existential crisis is. According to betterhelp.com, an existential crisis by definition refers to the ensemble of feelings and questions we have to do with the meaning and purpose of life. These questions aren't easy to find answers to and this can leave us feeling stuck. Now, I have been feeling in a state of existentialism for the past six months, not really knowing what I want to do with my life. And at the root of it all, I blame myself, which I know you're not supposed to do, but let me explain why. I define myself as Hannah Montana because I'm the best of both worlds, academic and creative. I can do an essay and I can get an A or an A star, but I can also write and create and film and edit, produce. So I have those two sides to me. In college, because I went to a sixth form that was a college, shout out to my Woodhouse people. I was able to do my music outside of school and you know film but at the same time i was getting a's and a stars and i was attending my lessons and i was doing my coursework and i was blah 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 so i was able to exist in both spaces but at university university does become your life even though you're in full-time education up until you're 18 so technically like it is a full-time job it doesn't feel like it like school doesn't feel like a full-time job but university feels full-time when you wake up you're in student accommodation and you go on public transport you're going to uni and every time you go into central london even when you're not at uni you think oh wow i could really go to the library and hit a few hours like it does feel like uni is your entire life now that my academic world has become my world it feels that there's no space for my creativity and being surrounded by people that want to do you know accounting investment banking commercial law people that want to work in the corporate world essentially when you don't want to do that it makes me feel like i am not normal because everybody around me wants to do so and this is one of the ongoing like issues that i'm gonna i guess talk about here is just comparison comparison and navigating being a creative in an academic space when you realize what you don't want to do and you accept that as a reality it completely changes everything in november my friend shout out to david i'm here with david what's up hi uh what are you studying political economy at king's that's right and how's it going so far it's going <laughs> it's going isn't it it's going Ooh. sent me a barrister's mentoring scheme and he was like i think you should really do it because up until that point between the age of 16 and like 19 i was like okay i want to be a barrister that's what i want to do so i submitted my application last minute like when i say last minute i mean like hours to the deadline i got accepted onto the program and i remember the first day that i met my mentor i was talking to him and i was just sitting there thinking <laughs> what i want to do anymore <laughs> but i had to keep a smiley face and just be like yes 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 the political and economic state of the world right now can we talk about like the political and economic state of the world right now Ooh! but i knew that's not what i wanted to do i have been praying a lot about what i want to do in life and god literally told me 
at that meeting when i was sitting there laughing he was like you don't want to do law i cried a lot i remember towards the end of 2021 i was crying so much in my room like i don't know what i want to do with my life like i felt so scared i felt like imagine walking through a dark tunnel with a flashlight and you're scared but at least you have your flashlight at least you can see now imagine the battery for that flashlight goes off unexpectedly and you still have to walk through the rest of that tunnel. That's what it felt like between November to now. Like it feels, and it still feels like that. It feels like I'm living every day, walking in a tunnel with no sight. I just feel like there's so much pressure on young people for us to figure out what is your life goal? What is your 10 year plan? What is this? What is that? Especially in hustle culture, especially with the, we all have the same 24 hours in a day type people that are like, what's my next goal? What's my five year plan? What am I gonna do in five weeks? How am I gonna make this much money? How am I gonna hustle? And it's like, you get so caught up with thinking that that is the norm. That is how your brain has to function and process to be successful. Ultimately, I always say, oh, I wanna do a career that I will love. Like if I don't like the job, I won't do it. But at the same time, if it won't bring me success, I also won't do it. If it won't bring me a bit of money, I also won't do it either so it's just so long it's so long and another thing finding out what you want to do but feeling like you're falling behind is an issue that i have been feeling a lot recently especially because like a lot of my friends and this goes back to the whole comparison thing but voicing this out loud is making me feel a lot more sane and stable but a lot of my friends are getting training contracts and like um vacation schemes and i don't have a single internship lined up for this summer and it just feels like my friends and that my peers that i'm supposed to be in the same bracket with are going to be moving on and progressing and then i'm just back here and there's gonna be like so much of a distance between us that i won't be able to catch up and be where i need to be and it kind of makes me feel bad thinking about my childhood self that was always like i want to be a millionaire i want to be a doctor i want to be a lawyer i want to be this this and that and like have really really high career aspirations and now getting to the age where we need to be making that happen and not feeling like i want to do that anymore it's been pissing me off like i'm not gonna mince my words i feel really annoyed and i feel like i'm letting my childhood self down thinking about my future makes me feel sick to my stomach because i see my friends where i should be where i feel like society has told me that i need to be and not be with them and that's where i am now that's how i feel Ooh. welcome to the kitchen where today we're making hot dogs while i voice over whatever it is i'm saying so back to me in the studio yeah but there are some takeaways and there are some things that I've learned. I can't compare myself to my friends because I don't want to do what they're doing. And I think also I really, really blame the education system for a lot of our problematic development as young people, but especially with this timeline, ticking time bomb thing, or by the time I'm 25, I need to be here. By the time I'm 30, I need to be doing this. And I think because of the whole year group system in school, how you have like year one, year two, year three, all the way up until year 13, we have to mentally deconstruct this year by year progression you have to pass one year to go to another and keep going up and going up it makes you feel like that is how the real world should be so by the time you're like 18 when you turn 19 you have to be at a certain level and there's like levels to go up and years to go up in but life's not like that especially when you come to university and you find that you're entering your course in first year at 18 but there's also somebody entering your course that's 21 like there's already been a three-year gap but somehow you are at the same place and that's not how the real world works. Like there will be somebody at your company that's five years younger than you and you're at the same level as them. You just have to make it work. Shall be within you. Now I'm gonna get, get the whole world to the Everybody wanna cut the legs down. We like we're running the same lit race but we're divided into different lanes and those different lanes are your life and that's what i've learned i have learned that i'm running my own race to stop comparing myself to people that are not in my own lane and it's really hard honestly you just have to come at the end of the day detox 
filter all of that out and be like i am running my own race and what do i need to do to make sure i have enough stamina to keep going not only just that but i have my whole adult life to choose my career like some people know what they want to do when they're 21 some people know what they want to do when they're 55 you can figure out what you want to do with your life anytime and it doesn't mean that you're falling behind because what are you falling behind whose schedule because it's only your own life and your life is what you make of it that's what i'm learning from a young age there are things that i can look back on and be like i know that i was born to do xyz and those characteristics those qualities are starting to come through every single day and i know that ultimately it will be finished and i will have a completed vision of what i want to do when i'm older but maybe i don't have that now and it's okay but what am i doing now like i just need to be faithful in my uni work with my social media faithful in the things that i enjoy doing now somewhere down the line i'm gonna figure out what i want to do when i grow up and it's okay and it's actually okay it's o it's okay like i'm running my own race and that's all i need to think about but boy this existential crisis is mad but it's fine it's fine and i'm gonna get through it and i'm gonna get through it it's fine I, all i can do is drink my tea that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i do feel a lot better after rambling therapy vlogs i like that a couple a couple conversation a couple conversation something we need to involve the tea i'm gonna think of a name and like something that involves the tea in this but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really really appreciate you tuning in please give it a like because it helps my channel and it shows me that i'm not the only one feeling the existential crisis in the air <laughs> Maybe it's the smell of the prices going up in London. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you on the flip. My social media links are in the description and I hope you have a fantastic and wonderful day.